Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, Kate Brown, do solemnly swear. I, Kate Brown, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Oregon. And the Constitution of the State of Oregon. And I will faithfully discharge. And I, faith, I will faithfully discharge the duties of governor. The duties of governor. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. Congratulations, Governor. Thank you. Catherine Kate Brown was born in Spain. Her father was in the Air Force. She was raised in the great state of Minnesota, Arden Hills. She would attend Mountain View High School. They are the Mustangs. She would go on to get her bachelor's degree in environmental conservation at the University of Colorado. And they are the buffaloes. <laughs> Two mighty strong animals. She then would attend and get her law degree from Northwestern School of Law at Lewis and Clark, emphasizing environmental law. Her loving family is here today. Her husband, Dan Little, her stepchildren, Dylan and Jesse. She would enter this building back in 1991 as a member of this House of Representatives. She would go on to be elected several more terms to serve here. She then should make herself available, make her way across to a little place over there called the Oregon State Senate in 1996, which she'd serve from 1998 to 2007. Just as a little aside, allow me to be a little personal here. I was her caucus leader over here, and she was my caucus leader over there. In 2008, she was elected Oregon's 24th Secretary of State, and again in 2012. And now, just moments ago, right here in this chamber, in a historic moment, is sworn in as Oregon's 38th governor. It's a serious moment, but allow me to say, Your Honor, you started here in this chamber, and then you went over there to that chamber, and then you went on the first floor to that corner with Secretary of State, and now you're going to come over here and start spending some time over here. Governor, <laughs> Unlike Elvis, you never left the building. <laughs> I give you Oregon's 38th governor, the Honorable, the Honorable Governor Catherine Kate Brown.
turn the mic on. Thank you. Governors Roberts and Kulangoski, tribal leaders, Speaker Kotek, President Courtney, honored colleagues, good morning. As I take the oath this morning, I am blessed to have the support of a large and wonderful family, many of whom are here today. I want to especially thank two people who've had great influence on my life, my mother, Sally Brown, and my spouse, Dan Little, who is my rock. It's been a tough few months. The people of Oregon have reason to question their trust in state government. Oregon has been in the national news for all the wrong reasons. That changes starting today. It's time for us to get back to work. It's time to move Oregon forward. This great state is blessed with so many amazing qualities, breathtaking natural wonders, a resilient people, and an unmatched quality of life. People born here want to stay here, and people are drawn here from all over the country. We are all fiercely proud to be Oregonians. Before I sought public office, I worked as a family law advocate. There, I witnessed firsthand the problems of people whose lives were dramatically impacted by the law, but who seldom had an impact on shaping it. The child who needs a more stable home, the survivor of domestic violence, the family struggling to make ends meet. I carry with me their faces and stories every day that I come to work. And throughout my 24 years of public service, I've also sought to promote transparency and trust in government, working to build confidence that our public dollars are spent wisely. As your governor, this will not change. I will be a governor who wants to hear the concerns of everyday Oregonians, children and working parents, small business owners and senior citizens. In the public dialogue about resources and priorities, they will be my central focus. It is with everyday Oregonians in mind that I take office today with purpose and enthusiasm. The legislature is in session, the budget has been submitted, and more than 1,700 bills have been filed. Speaker Kotek, President Courtney, members of the legislature, on behalf of all Oregonians, thank you for your dedication and perseverance throughout this recent ordeal. There is a great deal of work ahead of us, and I'm ready to roll up my sleeves and get to it. We are all keenly aware of the difficult circumstances that brought us to this moment, circumstances that none of us would have predicted only a short time ago. Governor Kitzhaber dedicated most of his life to serving the people of Oregon. His contributions to our state are well woven into the fabric of our public life. But now, we must restore the public's trust. I know that every representative and every senator in this chamber loves Oregon as much as I do. And I'm sure you will agree, in order for, to move us forward, the first order of business is to regain the confidence of the people. There are several things we can do, and one of them starts right now. I pledge to you today that for as long as I am governor, I will not seek or accept any outside compensation from any source. And I pledge further that while I am governor, the members of my household and the members of my staff will not seek or accept any outside compensation from any source for any work related to the business of the state of Oregon. That simply will not happen. Beyond that, 
We must seize this moment to work across party lines to restore the public's trust. That means passing meaningful legislation that strengthens the capacity and independence of the Government Ethics Commission. We also must strengthen laws to ensure timely release of public documents. We should not leave here without getting this done. We must work together to address these and other real problems in real time, to strengthen Oregon's recovery from the recession, to improve access to quality education and health care, and create more living wage jobs in every single corner of the state. Although as individuals we may have our differences, one thing connects us. We are all Oregonians. We are innovators, seekers, doers. Even our state motto, she flies with her own wings, underscores the extraordinary Oregon spirit that unites us and characterizes us as a people. It is time once again to set our sights on Oregon's future, to stretch our wings towards new horizons. Today is nearly half gone. Tomorrow awaits, full of promise. Now it's time to get to work. Thank you.